Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. I am doing pretty good myself, and we're going to jump back into it this evening with some more Kaido House. Um, I've been pretty excited for these. I've been a little late to the game with the purple one. I think this is the purple one. I don't know. They both look purple to me. I guess this one looks a little more blue on camera, but in person they both look purple. But uh, yeah, a little late to the game with the purple one, but the blue one did come out pretty recently. So we're going to go ahead and take a look, in this, look at both of them in this video. As you can see, I already opened these off camera because I wanted, this is going to sound really weird to you guys, but I wanted to make sure that I did not get any chases because I don't want to review the chases for these. I want to review the regular ones. So if one of them would have been a chase because the seller I ordered from, there is a chance of a chase. So if I would have gotten a chase, I wouldn't have wanted to review it because I want to look at the regular ones. I don't care at all about the Kaido House chases. I know that sounds weird, but I don't. So yeah, I opened them to make sure they weren't chases or else if one of them was, I probably would have bought another regular one so we can review that. But anyways, that's why they're open. So let's start off with the purple one right here. This is going to be Kaido House number 72, Nissan Skyline GTR R33 Kaido Works. So really nice packaging. I'm not a big fan of this, like, um, I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of like this, uh, like blueprint type design. I wish they would just have like a picture of the car or something. Don't really like that too much, but eh, it's just packaging, right? Anyways, Kaido House right here. You got metal body, chassis, alloy wheels, opening hood, designed by in Los Angeles by Junimai. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of like a, like a graffiti type Kaido House logo right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing and pull it out. So I didn't know if I was going to like these R33s a whole lot, but I can tell you right now that I really do. You know, we'll just bust both of them out. And while I'm opening this one, I'll take this as an opportunity to uh, ask you guys a favor. Um, I have a buddy that just recently started a YouTube channel. He's a good friend of mine. He's over in the UK. His YouTube channel name is Diecast GTR Garage. He, uh, he collects Mini DT primarily. He collects all the R35s and uh, a, a bunch of different like GTR stuff. Um, he's got like some Inno, he's got some of like the resin Inno models. He's got some really cool stuff and he's got a lot of cool stuff coming. I've convinced him to branch out into like some other stuff like Lamborghini and 4GT and just some stuff like that. But he's got a YouTube channel up. He posted his first video this last weekend. So if you guys wouldn't mind, definitely swing by his channel, subscribe, check out um, his current video and if he uploads a new one before I upload this video definitely check out whatever he's got going on um, it would definitely mean a lot to both of us but uh, yeah definitely go check him out diecast GTR garage I will have his channel linked in the description below so you can go down there and uh, click that link go to his channel and uh, yeah anyways let's jump into it with the purple one right here so the purple is a very nice like dark uh, dark metallic purple it looks really good um, it's uh, you can see it's purple, but it's also got some like blue speckling going on in there. It's really beautiful paint, um, and I think that's why I like this one so much. And you can also see real quick just on the interior, the whole dashboard right here is actually carbon fiber, and so is uh, this back column as well. So I think that's really cool. We we don't usually see a whole lot of uh, detail like that on the interior with Mini DT or Kaido House, so it's nice that the inside actually has some cool carbon fiber stuff going on. But uh, anyway, starting off with the wheels right here. Come on, camera, focus up. Starting off with the wheels, they are kind of like a brassy color, like a dirty brassy color, not quite gold, um, but they do look really nice. They are, of course, the uh, typical deep dish wheels that um, Kaido House does. It's got tire printing on it that says Nissan. And then the back wheel, of course, is going to be a lot deeper than the front one. And it's got that same Nissan printing on the tires. You got KW back here in like kind of like a tan logo. All the all the logos and stuff on this are uh, more of a tan color, not so much a brass color. But you've got uh, W Work right there on the side, I think is what that is. Not sure exactly who or what that is, but you do have some Gretty logos right here. 
And then you've also got a pinstripe that goes all the way down and kind of breaks up into whatever this little logo right here is. I don't know if that's a logo or just a design, but the pinstriping does look really nice on this one. Uh, you can see on the B pillar right here, you've got some carbon fiber detailing, so that is pretty nice. The mirrors on this are going to be rubber, just like Mini DTs are. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really good from a, from a side profile. But going around to the front, the hood right here, has some nice carbon fiber detailing with Kaido House right there in that tan color. You've got Gretti above both, uh, above both headlights. And then the headlights themselves look really nice. You can see there's actually some like silver detail back behind there. Um, they are acrylic, of course, so very nice headlights. GTR badge right here on this little grill. You've got Gretti down here on this bottom grill. Um, a couple orange lights right here those are either going to be your blinkers or some sort of reflectors or something and then this whole like front um not really a lip but this whole front part down here is uh, also carbon fiber and there's like some venting in that as well so the front end of this thing looks really nice we'll go ahead and pop this open and take a look at the engine bay which also looks really nice you can see it's got like some gold it's got that uh, chrome support bar, all kinds of different colorings on here for like the stickers and stuff. A little bit of carbon fiber, maybe. Or maybe that's just silver. It kind of looks like carbon fiber right there. But um, on this side, this little uh, gunmetal piece has uh, um, Kaido House print, uh, tamp stamped onto it or like casted into it, which is cool. So nice engine details, as always, with Kaido House. But this side is going to be pretty much exactly the same, except for your square fuel filler back here. And then on the back window, you actually have that Kaido House and that same kind of like graffiti writing that's on the side of the box. But uh, yeah, really nice. And then also you have Nissan printed on the um, windshield, of course. But the spoiler back here is going to be carbon fiber. Looks really good. The supports are going to be um, that same purple color, and then it's got some GTR badging right here as well. And it looks like it's uh, it looks like there's a little bit of carbon fiber on the side of it too. So that is really nice detail. It's almost it almost looks like the uh, spoiler is kind of like sticking through these little supports, and then it's got GTR on the side. So that carbon fiber detailing is really nice right there. Very good touch. Um, going around to the back, you've got your Skyline badging right there. GTR badging, your taillights, they look really good. Acrylic inserted, brake lights, I think I said headlights, they are brake lights. But really nice, you've got like a reflector right here. You've got your dual exhaust down here in like a chrome color with a little muffler on the bottom. Uh, you've got your license plate right here which says Kaido R33. A uh, little mini GT sticker on the back which I think is kind of cute. And then you also have a little V-Spec logo right here above the taillights with a, a little bit of like white line going across. So of course, gradient thing, gradient uh, base color on the bottom. And then it says 1994 Nissan Skyline GTR R33 used under license. So pretty nice. I do really like this purple one. Um, yeah, I, I there this one was one of the most popular coveted models of uh, 2023. And I definitely see why it is. It is stunning. So anyways, we'll set that back there. Let's take a look at the blue one. So these castings are going to be exactly the same, and so are the liveries for the most part. Um, just some slight color differences, really. Um, and you can see that with the wheels, instead of being like that brass color, they are just uh, silver. So the wheels are exactly the same, just slightly different color being silver, which I think looks really good with this blue paint on it and the paint itself does look really nice it's a it's another metallic blue paint but it does look pretty clean um, you can see it's still got pinstriping but this time it is white and then the back of it right here is um, gonna be black this little like design back here and then this part right here is actually gonna be like silver it's kind of hard to tell it kind of just looks white but this little piece right here is silver but you've got KW in white Gretty in white W work in white Again, going to the front, you've got Kaido House in white on the carbon fiber piece of the hood. Gretty above both um, headlights again. Headlights, just like the last one, look pretty dang good. Gretty right here on this bottom grill, GTR badge. You've got your carbon fiber lip going across with the venting. So, it, I mean, it's pretty much the same, just uh, blue base paint and white logo paint which uh, I think looks pretty clean. I don't know if I like this one more than the purple, but this one is 
pretty dang nice. And then you can see the engine block right here is going to be in red instead of um, gold like the last one. And uh, yeah, engine bay looks pretty good. So going around to the back, same details except the license plate is black. The Mini DT sticker is black, but everything else is pretty much the same except right there. On the bottom of the spoiler, it says built for the human race with a trademark logo. And uh, the bottom of the wing is also carbon fiber. Did I miss that on this one? Okay, the purple one had that as well. Built for the human race. I guess I just missed it. So that is another cool little detail. I like it when they, they put like actual printing on the bottom of the wing right there. I think it adds... Um, it just It's just a nice touch. But yeah, that's the blue one. I think it looks really clean. I think it looks really nice. Definitely like it. Uh, I don't know which one I... I don't know which one I like more. And to be honest, I don't even think I'm going to pick which one I like more. Because I like them both. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go check out GT uh, Diecast GTR Garage on YouTube. Check out his first or maybe second video if he has it up. Um, that would really mean a lot to me. But thank you guys for hanging out, checking out these Kaido houses with me. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Definitely drop a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And we will see you guys in the next video.